fucking pill. What kind of person goes into a store and decides to spend his hard-earned money on, on, on a magazine for kids just because it has a toy in it? Fuck, not again. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I'm Geek Out Industries, and today I'm doing a mail day. Well, not really a mail day, more of a collection I bought, and I know it's a collection, and it's too big to do in a mail day video. Well, it's not, but I just need to open this because I bought it. Simple. This all the way from the USA, so I'm going to open this up on camera and see what's in it. I don't really know. I bought it as a large collection. I know some bits and bobs. Can't remember what's in here. Also, import duty is a fucking rip off. I had to pay 60 pounds to get this in. 60. But anyway, what am I gonna do? I'll get on with this. Also, us English people will know this. Well, won't know this. But this is very something you see in the movies and we don't get this here. So I'm very excited to open this priority map. <laughs> Sounds weird, but I kid you not, it's the truth. Anyway, wish me luck and I'll catch you on the other side. Okay, so I have the face cam on me. Um, not sure if I'm going to use it or not, but here we go. In the movies, there's normally a strip. Is there a strip in this one? Oh, I let down. There is not. Okay, I'm just going to... Ooh, deck box. So I think I'll go through the deck box right here. And then I think I'll take all the cards out of the folder and go for them separately. I'm not sure. Um, I'm just I'm gonna wing this. Looks like it's full of stuff. Right. Let's go through halfway. So I have these OCG cards. That's cool. But yeah. I don't do OCG, so I have no idea what these are. Well, I know what some of them are, but you know what I mean. Man Eater Bug, first edition, light play, in Spanish. Okay, I don't know if that's worth anything. All that. Thirty nine Utopia. Is that a uh, ultra rare? Yeah, the no. ultimate. Samurai Sword Baron. Last turn. That's cool. That's very cool. LOD. LOD is. Can't remember. WC ten. Interdimensional match, blah blah blah, blah. Solemn Judgment, MRD, shame not first edition, Cosmo Fam, Farm Girl, Mark of the Rose, Phoenix, Vampire Genus, Vampire Genus, that one's not first edition. Is a seahorse. Oh, I'm back, it's not great. Okay. And uh, PG, that's all red cards. 50 cents. PSV. Guildford the Legend. Nice bell. That's a nice one. Mazza Devil. Crystal, Crystal Quad Drax. Then it's Edition IOC. That's very nice. That's a nice card right there. Easy World. Played Condition. This one looks mint. Take it out. 
Let's see the back. Uh, it's near mint, I wouldn't say it's mint. That's quite nice, that one. It's a good one. Okay. Now for the second half, uh, I want to take. Sorry, let's just go through it. Judgment of Anubis from DCR. Cosmo Good Witch. It's nice. Mistake, Mega Pack 14. Ancient Pixie Dragon. That's nice. Miss Thunder Lord from Hidden Arsenal 2. Forbidden Sculpture. Power Bond. Don't know what that is. Two of those. And then some parallel gear. Destiny Hero Plasma, that one looks weird. It's got weird spots all over. I don't know if that's. I think that's. Paint on the card, unlucky. That's a trap hole. DDS. Well, that's pretty cool. Not worth much, but it's pretty cool. The string Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. Gem Knight Obsidian, Star of Strength Slash Assault Mode, Cyber Angel Varash, The True King. I've never done a booster box of um, Raging Tempest, I might have to do one actually. Full Metal Foes, that's cool. Jewelers Pack 1, no, Dark Beginnings 1. Light Play, Dark Beginnings Nightmares. Tempo, Gimmick, Puppets, size of Scissor Arms, Red Eyes, Burn Dragon, Sacred Sword of Seven Star, Battle Box and Spirit, Emissary of the Afterlife, Emissary of the Gorgonauts. If you don't know that movie, go watch it. Small Toy Soldiers. Awesome. Cards, Trooper, White Horn Dragon, shame it's not in better condition. Um, Metabo Shark, Card Trader, Mist Body, Snowman Eater, Rex Greed, that's a good card, shame it's shit condition, Power Frame, Spell Book Wisdom, Eternal Hero, Electro Play Condition, Scapegoats, Poison, Virakuri, Fly Elf, Sorcerer of Dark Magician, two of those from the movie packs. Not worth much, but they're cool. Archfiend of Gilfer. Pragatactor. And here's the interesting stuff. It's, I know, I remember this being in poor condition. This was just lobbed in for free, so really appreciate that. Whoever um, I bought this off, can't remember off the top of my head, because I didn't actually know your real name. Um, yeah, but thank you. So we got this SDK one, like play. Heavy, heavy play. <laughs> heavy played. Um, SJ1 is awfully heavy played. Jeebus H. Christ. Dark Magician is nice. Shame it's a bit tatty. And the other bit. Oh no. SDK. I wasn't aware they did that perversion. Yeah, they must have done. Again, heavy play. That one's mega heavy play. And this one's actually quite good. Moderate play, so no heavy. Look at that crease. Heavy. So, all that there. It's actually not that bad. Some of that stuff in that um, in this pile here is actually quite nice. Uh, I will actually go through this take out all the decent cards for you to see because you're not going to want to see the shit. So, I'm going to edit it and so you get the good cards. See you in a bit. Okay, so here are all the cards that were between one and two pounds. A lot of them were trash values. A lot of them were damaged or were fuck all. Hate buying um, off people sometimes because you're just like, well, I need to see the card collection. He goes, well, it's worth this. It's not worth that. I mean, it was just pointless at the end of the day because so many of these cards are damaged but here we go we have Witch of the Black Forest, Marie the Fallen One, Sangan, 
always good to have. Big Core, ultra ultimate rare. That again is damage, so four pound card is now worth one. Eternal Flame Emperor from start uh, uh, structure deck number three. We have Odd Eyes Absolute Dragon, three of those. These were good condition, but not worth much. We have Starter Deck Kyber, um, Flute and Summoning Dragon. I find this really difficult today because my normal camera I can't use as the um, tripod for it was broken, so I'm using a different one. Griffin Wing, two of those. I think they were MR. I oh, know these are. Um, SDP Scapegoat, Starter Deck Joey, we have three Super Garden Doctor Tyrannos, Starter Deck 9, I think, Structure Deck 9, first editions. They're okay. These Odd Eye Pendulum Dragons, oddly, are more valuable than these ones. But these were in every um, tin, I guess. We have Metal Raiders, Seven Tools of Bandit, Guy the Dragon Thunder Charger, odd. It, it, you know, like when a kid is given a colouring book and they say, Pay, colour in a dragon. It's pretty much what they've done here. It looks terrible. Fell Grand Dragon, Exoda the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. Again, this one's damaged. So it's over £4, it's worth £1. Blast, sorry, Blast Magician, FET, I don't know what FET is. We've got Necros of Grinian, Red Eyes Burn, Ghost of the Grudge, Black Eyes Catastrophe, Firm Fire Formation, we have Fairy Meteor Crush, Dragon Shrine, um, Fire Hand, we've got three of those. Ice Hand, three of those. Cybernetic Fusion Support, two of those, I think, yeah. Then we have Chimera Tech Over Dragon. That's PGL2, I think. And the first premium gold pack. Cyber Dragon. Zuli, and I think there's a little bit of a misprint there. It's too close, isn't it? But you know, it's not worth much more than a pound. See that there? If you compare the two, that's pretty much touching it. And we've got this one, which isn't from the same set, obviously. Contract with Exodia, and we have VWXYZ Dragon Catapult. It's not a Z, it's it's not Z, sorry, it's a Z. Okay? Good. Ken. I can never say this. Kenzingen. Anyway, it's from um, George Kingdom. Or the one before Catwoman. <clears throat> we have two of these. One is worth £2. The other is in, he in light play, I guess most people say, but I say play. Condition. We have two Blue Eyes Toon Dragons. Again, one's mint and the other one is in heavy play. Chaos Rider Gastroth. IOC is. Can't remember. Graceful Charity. This would have been a £4 card again if it wasn't in played. Dark Spirit of Silent again. Invasion of Chaos, oh I see. Of course it is, Big Burn. Wire Trap, Pot of Aviance from EEN. Then we have number C6, great artwork. This is a common, but it's worth something, I don't know why, if you could tell me why. Number six, Fable Lurie, two of those. What Psychic Fighter, Sylvian Princess Sprouts, we have Metalon at the time, Lord, 
definitely not from Gallifrey. And Drac Garabia. So this is the last lot <clears throat> from the pounds. I've got 101, 101 cards that I, I could possibly sell for a pound. UCG Kama 1. Got two of those. One again, one in perfect condition, one in just off light play. I've got three of those. All from the same set. Only two are first edition. One is unlimited. I think I've got two of these, yeah. Both firsts. Gravekeeper Shaman. I've got two Light Swarm Maidens. Ghost Trick Ghoul. This is a little bit, um, what's the word? Cartoony for me. Light Pulse Dragon. Dark End Dragon. Skilled White Magician. This is a dope card. Shame it wasn't an um, ultra rare, but you know, super rare is still nice. Scrap Dragon, Keeper of the Boundaries, Ryu Sinji, Submarizable Carrier Aero Shark, Cat Shark, Cat Shark, um, Herophant of Prophecy, Maldochia Queen Tiramisu, Siri, um, Gladiator Beast Grazian, Ultimate Axon Kicker, Red Eyes Black Sword, Rainbow Karibo. This would have been a nice card if it was in first edition, but it's not. Very cool though. And the last lot of the £1 to £2 cards we have Silent Magician Level 8, Pot of Duality, Cyber Dark Edge. Um, Paras Parasite Par Parasite. Again, this would be worth more if it wasn't for the fold in the corner. Straight road again. Played condition. Heavy play. Penguin Soldier. Always a cool card to have. We got one of those again. Worm Queen. Oh, Justice. Absolute King Back Jack. Radiant Mirror Force, um, two uh, Black Wing uh, Panicky the Waxing Moon. So that's it for the one to two pound cards. Next, the two to three pounds. Here are the two to three pound cards. Overlord Fusion would have been a four, five pound card if it wasn't for the wear on the top. Maiden of Eyes of Blue, three of those. Two pounds all day long each. Five Headed Dragon, um, Prim Gold 2, First Ed. Blade Knight, this is only just a £2 card. It was nearly going to go in the 199, but it's not. It's a £2 card all day long, that. Force Raider, um, again, would have been in probably the 3 to 4 pile if this was a better condition. Barrel Dragon, same. If it wasn't for the slight nick at the bottom. Silv Oracolos, 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 Oracolos. <laughs> uh, Legendary Collections 3. Light, 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 very light play on it. Gonzo the er em Emissary of Darkness, again, light play there, so it's not worth much. Tribute to the Doomed, now, this would have been £4, £5 probably if it wasn't for the, like, the light play condition. Harpy Sisters, it's never that worth that much, but yeah. MRD. Got the Yellow B62, um, American print. Mm, Mystical Elf, £2. The Monster Reborn, Yellow B. I just like that card. Two to three pounds. Red Eyes. This would have been easy, £4.50, £5 if it wasn't for the light play on the side. Heavy Storm again. Um, no, this is perfect. It is worth about two pound fifty. <laughs> uh, Red Eyes Burn. Red Eyes Spirit. Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. Very, very cool card. That's from Core, I think. You've got three more Red Eyes Spirit, so there's four together in there. Um, it's just my markers when I'm piling them out. 
So here we go. The last lot we have Necros Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Laser light. Soul exchange from Joey Star. Oh no, Yugi started deck, sorry. Yugi's World Monster Reborn. Fable Catfish. Got two of those. Eclipse Waven. Two of those. Um, this I thought was worth more, but apparently not. I thought it was worth about four pounds, but it's only going for two, three pounds at the moment. Shame, because I like that card. Um, Exod. This is a cool card from Collector's Tim Ten. I'm not sure when that was. So. Em Envoy of Dark Beginnings. This is an oddly expensive uh, common. <laughs> Don't know why. Metal rulers. This would be eleven pounds if it wasn't for the shit condition. This is. The back's not too bad, but the front is. You can see it's been bent. Heavy play. Still worth two, three. Probably I could probably get five pounds for it, but I'll, I'll only want two, three. Um, Blue eyes ultimate dragon. Again, if this was in perfect condition, this is a four or five pound card. But light, light, light play. Most people would say near mint, but that's not true. Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, awesome card. Shame it wasn't the ultra rare or secret rare of this, I don't think. I think you could get secret. I don't know, let me know. But because it was in the movie packs. Anyway, yeah, good card. Soku Samurai, Dark Magician Girl from Yugi. I'm not sure really. Uh, Red Eyes Waven. Good card. Goblin Zombie. Zombie. We've got two of these Zombie Masters. Uh, Grave Keeper's Oracle. Fable Chris. Um, Paint, Pain Painter. If this was um, better condition, that would have been five pounds. But like play on there. I don't know if you can see that. Showing up on the viewfinder, but I don't know if it'll show up on the camera. We have Naturia Barakoyan. Omega Mega Fortress of Darkness. If it wasn't for the fold in the corner, again, that was six, seven pound card. Abyss Soldier, two of those. Again, worth slightly more. Four pounds if they were better condition, but they're not. Kachikochi Dragon. Mast Hero, Anarchy, Silent Magician Level 4, Brain Control TLM, which is. can't remember. And XL Force, which is a very cool card from Legend of, Legacy of the Duelist, or Legend of the Duelist. Can't remember. But LOD, that is cool. I like that one a lot. Right, so now on to the 4 to 5 pound, no, 3 to 4 pound cards. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I didn't get many high value cards in this um, collection. Bit disappointing, but you know, that's what happens when you buy bulk. You take the risk. Anyway, we have Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend, The Masked Beast from LON. Don't know what LON is. Um, PGL2. Calls the Emissary of Darkness, Catapult Turtle from Metal Raiders, awesome. Um, Dante, the Traveler of Burning Abyss, huge card ages ago, not so much now. We have my body as a shield. This would be more if it was in better condition, but it's got a crease there. I do have another one actually. Um, Eclipse Waven, we have Chimeric Dragon over whatever. We have three of these, Sober Dragon Cores. Um, Burst Stream of Destruction, Mayo Send You Die Bank, Naturia Extraoria, Divine Grace, um, again would be worth more if it wasn't for the light play on the side, where on the edge, sorry. Widespread Ruin, sweet art right for this. DOD, Shock Troops of the Ice Barrier, Reflect Bounder, Alloy of Justice Catasta. Armed Dragon level 7 from Dark. Oh, DP2. Tool Pack 2, maybe. Fable Reagan. 
Fable the Vicarus, Michael, the Ark Light Sworn. Um, that was weird of me. <laughs> Crimson Blader, and we've got two Blackwing, Christ the Crack of Dawn. Chris, Christ, Chris. Here are the four to five pound cards. We've got Skull Arch Fiend, Skull Arch Fiend of Lightning. Awesome, awesome card. Heavy Storm Metal Raiders, so obviously it's quite valuable. I know it's not first edition, but one of the first prints of that. Divine Sea Dragon, Guild of the Lightning, and Torrential Torrent from LON. We've got Swift Guy of the First Knight. My body has a shield. Earlier on, I said I had um, one with Crease, and this is not creased, obviously. Premature Burial from. PSV Ferris Servant. We have Chimeric over Dragon again from LCGX. The two Cyber Dragon Novas. The Fireth and Dragon Dalius. Relinquished from MC1. Not to be confused with MC Hammer. King of the Swamp. Surprised at how valuable that card is. Blockman. From Jules Pat Kyber DPK could be wrong, <laughs> probably am wrong. Got three of these. These are awesome. These are secret rare marshmallows. They make me feel weird, like Jerry from. Um, I, know I said this on Instagram earlier, but they make me f remind, they remind me of that Jerry that, that Beth imagines. Ugh. Tasunoko, Tasunoko, from Core. Cool. Awakening Knight pa Pashatha. Lava Chain. Sorry, my hand keeps doing that. That's because I'm used to having to film like that because that's how the camera normally is, but it's in the middle this time. Gem Knight Lady Brilliant Diamond. Queen Guru and Dinju. Nice. Super Polarization. Got two of those. Okay. Now to the five, eight pound card range. It jumps a bit because. Otherwise, you just get single cards sitting on your bench. But anyway, we got two of these. Um, Shanto King of the Higher Plains from DR Dark Ruler one. I'm not sure. I'm making. I made that set up in my head. I don't know if it's actual set. But they're um, six pounds all day long. I've seen them go for seven in light play condition, and they're mint. Guy the Dragon Champion, American print. LOB, one of the very first secret rares ever. Nice card. See, this in perfect condition is worth a lot. Sujin, uh, Metal Raiders. Luster Dragon, MFC. We've obviously got number 95 from um, Premium Gold 2. Dark World Dealings from Joey's World. Awesome card. Cyber Repair, three of those. Mega money for commons. Uh, Cyber Dragon, uh, Dree, Dree. Thousand Eyes Restrict from MC1. King of the Swamp. And Legendary Samurai Shinin. So those are the five to eights. Obviously, some of those are five pounds and some of those are eight pounds. Uh, you guys probably know which are which, so I didn't go through that with you. Because I forgot. <laughs> These are five to eight. This is eight pounds, even in this sort of very light play condition. Tribute, this is what I was saying. This is a first edition mint, and this is ten pounds all day long. I keep saying all day long, it's really pissing me off. <sighs> Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. This is Julius, Julius Pat Kyber, the White Stone of Legend. Highest rarity you can get for it. And PGD, first edition Mirage of Nightmares. It's eight pounds up. And the most valuable card I think I got is uh, this one. The Black Stone of Legends, 15 pounds mint. But I still have more cards. Um, I didn't put the God cards or the um, Dark Magicians and Blue Eyes. So I'll show you those now. I only got two decent Blue Eyes from the folder. 
the S SKE one. It's only two pounds, and the legendary collection one again only two to three pounds. But I, I just love them, so get them in your face. Got a few more Dark Magicians, this SDY6 um, in heavy play, but I've sold these before for £2. And two Legendary Collections, one Dark Magicians, these can go for about £3 each. So I'm alright then. I like to keep those there. Here's the Exodia's stuff I got. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I've got one set of Yugi. Legendary decks, one, two, three, four, five. Got another one, and one, two, three, four. Oh, you thought I was gonna, no. It's missing an arm, weirdly. I don't know where it's gone, I don't know what it's doing, it's just not in there. Odd, eh? Maybe it's in that other pile, I have to get look through that. It could be in the other pile. No, it's not. Because that came from the deck box. Right, no, okay, so it's just missing. Weird, eh? So I've got two full Exodias, I've got two dark beginning legs, both sides, which I thought was quite cool. I might keep them for myself. Um, and I got nearly a full first edition Premium Gold 2 Exodia. Annoyingly, it's the same arm that's missing. Weird. Right, now to my favourite God cards. So here are the um, ones from the uh, Mega Tins. We've got one, two, three, four obelisks, four slifers, and two slifers from the Movie Pack Gold Editions, which I think is awesome artwork. Maybe not in the gold one, even though I actually prefer gold. Gold! But this is what I want to show you guys. We have one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three sets of God cards from the Legendary decks. Awesome, right? But that's not even the best bit. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. We have five God card sets from Legendary Collection. That is awesome. That is my shit. And they will be going in my collection because I fucking love God cards. Right. That's it for today. Um, if you guys have got a collection you want to sell me, obviously I'm going to put it up and go through it with you guys so you guys can watch as well. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Remember, don't freak out, geek out.